This is Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. Good evening, I'm Micah Mater. And I'm Ben Bradley in for Ray. Thanks for joining us. President Biden addressed the crisis in the Middle East earlier tonight in a speech live from the White House. He previewed what he'll ask Congress to approve tomorrow. WGN's Jenna Barnes here with us now to get into the details. Jenna. Yeah, he's asking for money, billions of dollars for Israel and Ukraine. The president making the case that if America sends more aid to help those countries, Americans will be safer. The decisions we make today are going to determine the future for decades to come. In only his second Oval Office address to the nation, President Joe Biden made the case to strengthen U.S. aid to Israel and Ukraine as Israel defends itself against the attack by Hamas earlier this month and Ukraine's war against Russia nears its second year. Hamas and Putin represent different threats, but they share this in common. They both want to completely annihilate a neighboring democracy. Biden plans to submit what he calls an urgent budget request to Congress Friday. It's expected to total $100 billion over the next year, with money for Ukraine, Israel, humanitarian aid, and also Taiwan and border management. The president says helping the U.S. allies fighting overseas and preventing those conflicts from widening are vital to U.S. national security. It's a smart investment that's going to pay dividends for American security for generations. The president returned to Washington Thursday morning from a high-stakes trip to Israel, where he secured an agreement from Egypt to allow the United Nations to bring food, water, and medical supplies into Gaza. The United States remains committed to the Palestinian people's right to dignity and to self-determination. The actions of Hamas terrorists don't take that right away. <laughs> Israel's defense minister telling troops just outside Gaza to be ready as the military prepares to begin a ground invasion. Tension across the region rising. A U.S. base in southern Syria became the target of drone attacks, and a Navy warship shot down three missiles in the Red Sea. We cannot say for certain what these missiles and drones were targeting, but they were launched from Yemen, heading north along the Red Sea, potentially towards targets in Israel. The conflict hits especially close to home for the Chicago area. In his primetime address, the president said his administration is working every avenue to bring home the American hostages held by Hamas, and he condemned the killing of six-year-old Wadia Afiyumi. We can't stand by and stand silent when this happens. We must, without equivocation, denounce anti-Semitism. We must also, without equivocation, denounce Islamophobia. After the president's address, he and the first lady spoke by phone with Wadia's father and uncle. The White House says they shared their prayers that Wadia's mother makes a full recovery and their commitment to speaking out against anti-Palestinian and anti-Muslim hate. Micah and Ben. Thanks, Jenna.